All right, I heard this place sold some pretty cool golf clubs, so we're gonna see what we can get and uh, put it to the test. We got the uh, junior set, five, that's not We got the nitro, there's a women, women's set. It's the nitro blaster, you've heard of them. 13 piece, driver, some putter, and a few clubs. All right, 219 bucks for the whole set. Oh, hey, look what I found. I got some clubs. Let's see what we got inside here, the uh, Nitro Blaster. Ooh, everything's uh, nicely wrapped up and protected. Seven iron, nine P, six iron, eight iron. A Nitro Blaster mallet style putter. Got the Blaster uh, Hybrid Club, four hybrid to be exact. 16 degree metal. And then the uh, 10.5 degree lofted driver. And then we have a nice, fairly lightweight nitro bag here. With the double strap harness, good fit. It's a pretty light setup. Okay, this says 13 piece men's set. So I th thought there'd be 13 clubs. No, it's not 13 club piece. It's a little misleading. Uh, look, I call this three, one, two, three, but that calls it one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, th thirteen. This isn't a piece. Just it's just it's part of the bag. It's not a piece. Thirteen piece means thirteen clubs. Come on, Walmart. All right, one strike against you already. However. All of this cost less than, than this one driver. I got a whole golfing set. I can only tee off with this. I'll let you slide a little bit, but it's not really 13 pieces. So what we're gonna do is get some baseline numbers here on the track man to see exactly how far these bad boys fly, every distance, every club. Then we're gonna hit the course and see how they perform in reality. So if you're just starting out in the game, I'll let you know if these would be a good option for you or if you're helping somebody else get started, maybe this would be the perfect starter set from Walmart. Pitching wedge going about 120 in the air, not bad. 130-ish eight irons, not bad. In case you're wondering, this is the Nitro Blaster 7 iron, 150. This is the T200 7 iron. 167, 7 iron Nitro Blaster, 145. But these are way easy to hit. So the irons are going probably 20 yards shorter than my 6 iron normally goes. But when you're just starting out, you want forgiveness and height on that golf ball. And we're getting that. 100 feet in the air, six iron. That's pretty good. That was good, because that was totally a miss hit. Kind of flailed it, but it went really high and really straight. So super forgiving right there. <laughs> Not used to that regular flex, but I kind of like it. A lot of loft, a lot of height, a lot of forgiveness. 
not a ton of distance, but if you're just starting out, you want consistency and forgiveness. All right, now that we've got our baseline numbers, we know what to expect, let's jump on the real golf course and put these bad boys to the real ultimate test. And you can see for yourself how they perform out there. We're ready to rock and roll. You know, I wish it came with a towel, it would be pretty awesome. And it would be cool if it came with a rangefinder too. You know, for everybody who's starting out, the package set, a little rangefinder on here, balls, towel. That's it, I think we're good. All right, we're out here at Atlanta National Golf Club and we're not going to play the tips because most people, I would imagine, that buy the preset box set of clubs are not gonna be tipping it out. And as we know from indoors, we're not getting the distance that we would uh, normally get. So we're gonna move up a couple tee boxes and play from where most people would play who get the box set of clubs. Come on. Here we go. About 230, about 240. Shooting back, trying to get an accurate number. Big fade off the tee box into the right rough. To be fair, it's a little into the wind too, so factor all those numbers in for you. 98 yards. And since I don't have many options, the only club we have is the nine iron pitching wedge coming out of the light Bermuda into a cross wind into our face. And based on similar num uh, simulator numbers, this was going about 120, so I got to take a little bit off of it. We'll figure, we'll see what happens. No, probably went 125, a little long. All right, our first crack with the Nitro Blaster Putter. I didn't even hit any practice putts with this thing. Feels good. Just line it up and try to hit her in, huh? Ooh, good thing that went in. It was moving pretty good. All right, first hole with Nitro Blaster. We squeaked out a par. Not bad so far. Good weight on this thing. I know what you're gonna say. It's the Indian, not the arrow. But remember, what we're looking for here is ease of use, how easy are they to hit, and how forgiving are they, and height on the ball is what we want, especially when we're using box sets. You're gonna be a beginner mostly. You want height so that that ball comes in soft. You don't want a low little rocket ship flying at the flag or the green or anywhere. That went high, that's for sure. We're in the bunker. I'm right up against the lip. Not great. Well, we got out. All right. Little double bogey, no big deal. These are gonna fit pretty much the average size person, meaning the lie angle is gonna be pretty good for most people. I'm shorter, so that's gonna be like this. So I'm gonna miss typically left with the irons because as you go like this, that club starts pointing left. If you're taller, it'd be a little more upright and it would go to the right. So what's cool about this also is just the weight of the carry bag. It's much lighter than any of my other carry bags, the way it is. It is uh, super, super light and perfect for walking around on the golf course.
All right, first three putt with Nitro. If you're just starting out, you don't want to spend $300, even $100 on a putter. It, you'll be fine. It's not that big a deal. If you do go with the Nitro Blaster set, these club head covers are gonna fall off. But that's okay. They're not that good anyways. They're pretty cheaply, flimsily made. Also, if you're interested, uh, Seven Diamonds is the clothing I'm wearing. Link in the video description below for you. A little code for you to use down there as well. So be sure to check them out. They don't only sell golf clothing. They have all kinds of stuff. And for the uh, lady in your life too, she'll love the stuff they have. You get her a little gift. Trust me on that one. So link below, check them out. Beginner tips is this. Don't take the time. You don't need to clean your ball, mark it, and line it up, and do all that stuff. Just get over there, feel it out, go with first instinct, and putt your ball. You're going to be hitting a lot of shots, so it's going to save you a ton of time and make um, everybody else who's playing with you and the people behind you just more appreciative of the fact that you're just speeding up the game. And even though I have this little putt for birdie, I'm just going to walk up. I'm going to take one practice stroke right there. Just aim at the hole and just believe in yourself. There you go. Got it. Come on, Nitro Blaster. Your first birdie ever. All right, just missed the green a little bit short. Like normally I would take a wedge or something and hit that up here. That would be like my number one play. Something like that. It's pretty good. But you can also take that seven iron and play the same shot. Just put a little back in your stance, kind of do similar thing. It'll roll. Might be even a little easier for you. But also don't be afraid to just take that putter out. That's wind. And uh, just putt it. That's my closest one. So all three of those options are gonna work out really well for you. Mm. A bag fell over in my swing. <laughs> so far so good, last hole. I just don't know if I should go for it. I have to carry at least 200 to this par five. Well, I'm a beginner, right? So I gotta play as a beginner. What do you think of the uh, Nitro? I, I would say all in all, like for a um, box set, 200 bucks plus tax, pretty good. I feel a little gypped, it's not 13 pieces. This is one piece, they call it two pieces. This ain't a piece. Let's lay up and make a birdie. Lay up with six iron, here we go. Ninety-four left, got the P9 in my nine piece set. Thirteen. I don't know whose brilliant idea that was. It's a brilliant idea, but Let's be honest, it's really nine pieces. Either way, nine pieces for 200 bucks? You all pay $200 for a dang wedge. Is it right there? Oh, we got the putt, we got a chance, Nitro Blaster. Let's do it. Ah. What do you think? That's your Nitro Blaster box set from Walmart. Non-sponsored video, in case you're wondering. I just bought the dang thing. Thought you might want to give it a cool little checkout. For 200 bucks? Do it all day. If you got someone just starting the game, better than the first set I ever had. Thanks for watching. Hope it helps. Love you guys. See you next time. Um, I think that's a bit. Well, much more accurate. You're welcome.